Alright guys, hello and welcome to Road to Vostok, a hardcore single-player survival game based on real abandoned locations. Oh yeah, and it's also being made by an independent solo developer. A public demo has just gone live on Steam, you can play this for yourself right now if you add it to your wishlist. And this is my first time playing it, so I figured we'd jump into this demo today and see what the game has to offer in this very early pre-alpha build. Enjoy the video. Okay, we are in the game. So we're in the tutorial area right now, but let's bring up the settings because, as you can see, there's quite a lot of things we can change here. That toggles the Debo profiler, which is in the top left there. So my health, my body, arms, and performance. Can toggle dual render scopes, which is nice. And enemy spawns, as well as time of day and weather. I see you can change this stuff on the fly. I think there's hotkeys for it. Sundown. Nighttime. Got the flashlights as well. Here's one of the AI in the game. Actually says AI in public demo on his vest. That's cool. Alright, let's have a look then, because I've got the instructions here that we can read through. Let's change the time of day real quick. Okay, the purpose of this small demo is to get initial feedback on the core mechanics and give a realistic picture of how development is progressing. And we've got the controls. Looks pretty straightforward. Containers. Can open containers with middle mouse. There's the UI as well. Got the character in the middle, my inventory on the right, and the crate storage on the left with weight and volume. Uh, items. So this is like placeholder for all the stuff that we can loot in the game. In this demo, items are demonstrated using colored cans, which also represent item rarity level. Oh, we can turn the radio on. Положение на границе очень тревожное. Никто не знает, что происходит на самом деле. Do we have any translators in the comments? I don't know what that said, but... We can loot these items and pick them up. And if I hold G, I can carry them around like this. And drop them. Okay, so these are the different rarities. We've got red, yellow, green, blue. Common to extremely rare. Now we're on to the good stuff. Each weapon uses a procedural weapon handling, aiming, and recoil system. We've got a Glock pistol. And an MP5. Let's equip these. Oh, there's a nice selection of weapons by the looks of it. Okay, we've got low ready and high ready. So when I am ready to fire, I can bring my gun up like this. What does it say in the bottom there? Okay, and then if I'm aiming, you can see in the top left there that I'm losing stamina in my arms. So the stability kind of... I sway a bit more, you know? How do I toggle to full auto? It's a laser. That's not what I want. There it is. Okay, let's just put all of the weapons into my inventory. Does that work? Yes. Nice. Okay, let's check out the M4. Raise weapon. It's got a cool looking scope. Okay, that's single fire. And that's full auto. You can inspect the weapon too like this and see the attachments that you've got on it. You can hide the UI as well if you want to get a nice YouTube thumbnail. Try the 416, shall we? Single fire. Full auto. That looks nice. Alright, let's try the Galil. Well, that sounds beefy. Very beefy. Lots of recoil. The weapons actually feel pretty good, though. Considering this is, like, the demo build of the game. He's on the right track with it, you know? Okay, you can't kill the AI in the tutorial area. <laughs> this is the RM870 shotgun. Doesn't even flinch. I like that the shells aren't expiring. Let me put the daytime weather back on. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? And then we've got the sniper. Look at this bad boy. I'll save this till we're actually in game. He's actually got a roadmap on one of these signs. So we're in the public demo right now, which features one map. I'm not sure what the house symbol means. Maybe it just means lootable buildings. 
Then Public Demo 2 in 2023, Early Access, and Full Release, which are both to be announced. Although most of the mechanics are still unfinished, feedback and bug reports are more than welcome. Alright. Well, I think we've done everything in this area, so... Now that we know the basics, let's go apply what we've just learned to the main map. Oh. This looks really nice, actually. What is this place? I'm not going to try and pronounce that. But I do know that this game is set between Russia and Finland. And the uh, the idea is, is that you'll move between different border zones, I guess. So if you think like Tarkov has different maps, right? Like you just move seamlessly from one map to the next is my understanding of it. But yeah, this is just the, the demo stage level that he's prepared. Kind of like a vertical slice, you know? Show some of the intended features, but in a, a small package. So let's just pretend I'm looting. Turn this candle on. Interact with some stuff in the houses. Nice little poster here. Got some bats and some other creatures. I like what this developer's doing, though. He's got the right idea, because he's, he's just being transparent with the people that are directly supporting the project, you know? Not just showing the progress, but allowing you to play it. I think that's really cool. Okay, so that's looting. I don't really need to do much more of that, because the items are just there as placeholder. They don't actually help you in any way, but gives you an idea of what the looting could be like. I'm getting shot at immediately. This is not a safe area. I'm about to get bombed. What the hell's going on? <laughs> That's cool. He shot me over there somewhere. My fault for just standing in the open like that. I can hear someone. Sounds like they're over there. I don't know how the AI work in this, so... Guess we'll find out together. I wonder if we'll ever actually do multiplayer in this game. There was mention of adding, like, co-op, so you could play this with a friend, but... I think it's a budget thing more than anything, you know? Developing a multiplayer game is a lot more expensive. This environment looks really cool, though. What the... It's that same guy again. There he is. Come on. Dropped him. I like the weapon models. They look really clean. I just want to see the reloads when I actually do them, you know? That'll come later, though, I'm sure. Got to keep telling myself this is just a demo. It's already so immersive. Alright, let's be careful, because I don't know if they spawn inside houses. Someone walking around outside. I want to see if weapons spawn. TV. Oh yeah, this game's also set in the post-apocalypse. Holy crap. Ow. That goes 25% of my health. <laughs> Switch to this uh, 416. There we go. Okay, it lets me bring in all the weapons out in the tutorial stage. I like this gun though. It's cool. I think it's got the most amount of attachments on it. The sprinting's a bit weird. You have to press control to sprint. Ow! God, you can't expose yourself for a second in this game. The AI will just... Follow where you last shot, I guess. Okay, a bit of hitching there. Game froze for a second, but... 
be expected. Yeah, this sprinting is really hard to get used to because you have shift to run and then control this sprint. I like the detail in this game. I hope this is, like, applied to the main version of the game, you know? It doesn't strip back on how detailed the environment looks. That's another way to exit. I imagine those demo transition areas will be how you connect to the different maps. Where's my sniper? There we go. Yeah, so in the main game, you'll have to manage, like, health, food... Um, injuries and all that sort of stuff. And it will have permadeath as well, so if you die, you got to start again. Question is, can I go through these pipes? Yes, I can. He's actually done it, my god. So many games I play, it just looks like you can fit in spaces like this and then you never can. Oh, more steps. Back through the pipe. Yeah, this is a great um, first taste, though. You can see where the inspiration comes from with, like, the Stalker games and... Maybe it's inspired by Tarkov, I don't know, but the... The weapon mechanics feel pretty similar. That was nice. You know me. Love myself a sniper. It's a very slow game. Methodical. But I like that. You can't just run around and mow the AI down because they will kill you first. Seems that they're coming directly towards where I shoot. And sometimes when they shoot me, they just disappear suddenly. They run off and disengage and then re-engage. One of the AI is stalking me. Switch to the MP5. Make sure I'm on full auto as well. Jeez. You see how quickly he snapped to me when I turned that corner? Good job I shot first. What the hell? M4. This is crazy. I actually feel like I'm being hunted. Not the other way around. <laughs> can you loot them? Oh, you can. Still just placeholder, though. Look at the amount of trees, man. It's crazy. Oh. Wow. Weapon handling is really unique in this game. The guns feel like they actually have weight to them. He says while carrying, like, seven guns in his backpack, but... <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, what's this? Canned pea soup. Typically made with dried peas. Playtesting can be exhausting. Here's a little snack. Best regards, the developer. What a nice guy. Nice little place you've got here. So is this going to heal me? Oh my god, it is. Those are some crunchy peas. Some nice target practice. Yeah, look at the amount of speed you get from sprinting. That's crazy. <laughs> that needs to be toned down a little bit. Or at least the transition into full speed. This guy's full sprint. Oh, God. These AI do not mess about. They see you for a second. And you're dead. Whoa! I don't even see this guy. Yo, this guy's cheating. I think they just, like, shoot in the general vicinity of you because... If I, if I shake this guy now, he won't, like, full send on me. They actually suppress you. Scares the crap out of me every time. How do I turn on UI again? F2? 
Yeah, there we go. So it tells you your weapon condition. Ammo type. Muzzle. The sight. So you can customize some of this stuff later in the... Well, maybe in the next demo build. The dev has said that he's going to update this over time, so... This isn't the, the only version of the demo that we're going to play. I'll probably get updates until alpha. Which is really cool. I love how early people are able to get their hands on this. I'm sick of this guy. There's two of them. There was two of them. Is the key takeaway there. Damn it, now I want a takeaway for dinner. He's AI, I've got me an edge, man. Just start shooting me out of nowhere. Oh, look at this. This is definitely here for a reason. Oh, baby. I've got the lay of the land now. Let's see if anyone shoots at me. I've got a nice little perch here, too. Oh, with a sniper. Oh, <gasps> it's a Mosin. That wasn't a gun I could select before. An actual Easter egg. Hidden Mosin. Look at this. Oh, there is music. <laughs> okay, this better be copyright free. Oh, of course. Right on time. This is a vibe. <laughs> this is truly a vibe. Where is the guy? Like, he shot me. Over there somewhere. Come get me. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> oh crap, he's there. This is a different guy, I guess. Oh my god, the sounds. I don't know where he's coming from. Oh, there he is. I missed. Absolutely whiffed. Oh my god. Suck. Still not dead. Finally, Jesus. So much sway in this game. Oh, my arm stamina, isn't it? It's going down. There's someone else in that same spot. Oh, he's going to kill me. And I took full damage. Do a little like Stone Mountain. If I stay out of his line of sight, I think he'll just keep going to where I was before. Try and get around him. Nope. There we go. I do not like the AI in this game. We will not be friends. I imagine they're only going to get more advanced. <laughs> this is them in their most basic form, I think. At least his vision of their most basic form. They definitely feel smarter than Tarkov AI, that's for sure. They're pretty similar. Oh, so much sway, I'm dead, no! Oh, it's fine. I would have extracted anyway. There's no real, like, end game to the demo right now. But there we go. That's it. That's our first look at Road to Vostok. These freaking AI. I hate you. I hate you with every fire of my being. But you know who I do love? You guys. Watching this video right now. If you watched this far, I hope you enjoyed it. That's, all, that's my first look at the game. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably come back to this when it gets an update. Or, you know, something significant happens. Definitely check this game out in the alpha and the beta, but if you want to find out more about the game or check it out for yourself, uh, Road to Vostok on Steam. Add it to your wishlist and you can download it and try this demo free of charge, which is great. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more like this. And I will catch you, legends, in the next one.